Now let's go to Washington and bring in Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. Her department is leading the campaign against the H1N1 virus. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. How are you? Who should be getting this virus? Who most needs to get it in this initial stage with the, with the nasal, nasal injections? Well, the um, Centers for Disease Control and the uh, President's Advisory Committee on Immunizations have identified really five target populations, pregnant women, healthcare workers, children with underlying health conditions ages six months to 24 years, older Americans with underlying health conditions. That's mm -hmm. a lot of people, it's about half the population. Mm -hmm. The nasal mist is, as Dr. Ashton just said, uh, you can't uh, give it to children under the age of two, uh, or uh, people over the age of 49 and no pregnant women right. and people have to be healthy. So it's okay. a fairly limited group. All right. Here's one of the problems, though. We've talked to some of the biggest pediatric practices in New Jersey. Folks there have not heard a word, not only if they're going to get the vaccine, but when they're going to get the vaccine. They're, how, how do you explain that? Well, I think that um, each state and local unit of government has developed a plan. Uh, we now have a great tool on our website, flu.gov, where people can go and visit, click into your state and find localized information because those decisions are being made on the ground mm -hmm. in New Jersey and in California. Um, the vaccine, as you know, Harry, just is being pushed out this week. Right. The first doses, which are actually 10 days ahead of when we okay. had thought we'd have first doses, so me, we're a little bit ahead of the curve. Let me ask you this. There are a lot of healthcare workers, though, that are saying, I don't want the mist because, there's, because they want to wait to get the shot which right. has no uh, no, no live virus. Exactly, you exactly bet. right. Well, what, by the what, end of this week, what would week, be your advice? Well, by the end of this week, we'll we'll begin to have injectable vaccine also available. We're dealing with five production companies. That's very good news. But the vaccine will become available as the lines uh, clear up. So as soon as we have any. Uh, vaccine available. We're pushing it out to 90,000 sites around the country, which have been identified at the state and local level as the most appropriate places. So the early going is a little bumpy just because it, we won't have as much as everybody wants right away, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll have a good supply uh, by October, and we hope that people get in line and get ready to be vaccinated. Secretary Sebelius, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank I do you. Appreciate it.